Hey everybody, I'm Brad Means. And I'm Kimberly Scott in for Jenny Montgomery. Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate it and coverage you can count on does begin with President Donald Trump hoping to increase defense spending by $54 billion next year. If Congress approves his proposed budget, Fort Gordon would see a dramatic impact from the nearly 10% hike. News Channel 6 is Mike Miller live in our newsroom now. And Mike, I tell you, Fort Gordon has been booming for some time. In fact, you go back to 2012, it's grown 20%. Well, Brad, as other military bases around the country are dwindling in size, Fort Gordon is expected to grow by 3% every year. And with President Trump's effort to increase military spending, the growth could be even larger. With talk of $54 billion extra in funding for the Department of Defense, there is a lot of buzz about how Fort Gordon would be affected. That will be a major impact to Fort Gordon. And really, you know, when you talk about cyber warfare and cybersecurity, this is a growth industry for generations to come. Fort Gordon currently has an economic impact of $2.1 billion to the local economy. Right now, more than 24,000 people work on the base, and more than 13,000 are expected to move to the area because of the cyber related missions at Fort Gordon. Cyber security is the new frontier in warfare. The good news is uh, our folks are doing a great job. We just try to give our soldiers what they need to uh, fight this battle. Congressman Rick Allen recently voted in favor of the Department of Defense Appropriations Act, which provides more funding this year for cyber defense programs and a 2.1% pay raise for the troops. It's something the White House is in favor of. In addition to the $54 billion the president wants to add to the military budget next year. Well, I think it's why uh, uh, Donald Trump won in November because uh, it was no secret that our military uh, was suffering. Congressman Allen says as war moves from the battlefield to cyberspace, any additional funding to the military will only continue to secure Fort Gordon as the place to train and recruit the cyber workforce, which in turn means the CSRA will continue to grow. We're seeing more traffic now. We're seeing more people moving to the area. And when you talk about the population expanding by several thousand people, you know, they're going to have to live someplace. But the benefit to local restaurants, to people needing to, you know, use our local services, it's going to be across the board and it's going to be bigger than most people think. Trump's 2018 budget proposal calls for cuts in domestic spending to allow for the additional $54 billion in funding for the Department of Defense. Now, the additional funding for this year had overwhelming bipartisan support in the House, but the bill still needs to pass the Senate. Kim. Thanks, Brad.